Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be trying something a little new. Um, this hasn't been done on my channel before. Um, it's going to be a match analysis, so I'm going to go through every touch I took, uh, the good, the bad, um, and just see what I could have done better, what I did well, so I can ultimately improve, because I feel like going through the footage, watching it back, the footage doesn't lie, so um, it's a great tool for improvement. It can help me. It could help somebody out there who's watching. You could have the same issues that I'm having. I feel like this is a worthwhile thing to do and I'm happy to bring it to my channel. So, let's do this. So guys, welcome to my match analysis. Today's game uh, that we are watching was against a uh, Division II school called Roberts Wesleyan. Um, it was about an hour drive and it was our first game of the spring season. Uh, let me give you a bit of, of a backstory before. Um, somebody in our team tested positive, so prior to this game, we only had one training session. Our whole program got shut down for 10 days, no training, no practice, so we were all a bit rusty. Um, some of us weren't as fit as we were because we haven't been training for 10 days. We got out of our rhythm, but that's not really an excuse. Um, we, <laughs> we ended up conceding four goals after 20 minutes. It was a battery. Number five. So the first play of the game, ball comes back to me. I take a touch. Um, maybe I could have looked up and played our centre-back Joel here, but um, it was literally the very first kick of the game. So I just took a touch out of my feet and I cleared it. It went into a good area, so I'm not too mad with that. Um, start of the game, just didn't want to take any risks. I could have played my centre back, but same again. This time I didn't have the option of playing my centre back out wide. The centre back was he was still in the middle. I'd ideally like him to, as soon as the ball comes back to me, splits, get wide as he can, but he didn't. Um, and you can see there's a man in the middle here, so I couldn't play him. So. I had a look up, saw Eric in the middle, he's over here, you can't see him yet, and the ball gets out to him, <laughs> and luckily he falls over the ball um, and we lose it. And again, ball comes out to me, this time the clearance isn't that great, it was along the floor, I got lucky, it was a bad clearance, I got lucky that it went to a good area though. Um, when I clear the ball, I like to get lots of height and just get it out of danger, that was a poor goal kick. And um, a theme in this first 10 minutes was uh, I haven't played a game in a competitive game coming up to, I'll say, two years. So um, there was just so much going on that I just had to, I just had to calm down. And after the first 10 minutes, I really calmed into the game. And you can see that my decision making and my execution got a lot better as I calmed into the game. So, yeah. Next play. Carlos loses it in the middle, he tries to play across, he gets cut out and they have a counter attack. Their striker gets played through, I try and make myself as big as possible, but he scores one on one. Uh, so let's go back here and have a look at this. So once Carlos loses the ball, I would like my centre backs to force the player wide, um, try and delay them as much as possible. Um, unfortunately, it was so easy for the for the player to just drive through the heart of us and cut us open. Once I'm in this position, his touch was good, so I'm, all I can really do is try and hope I make the save. I can't come out any further and try and uh, smother, smother the shot or block it. I just have to make myself as big as possible and hope I save it. And unfortunately, I didn't. So that was their opening goal. It was literally two minutes in. As I said before, the stoppage, um, not being able to train or play for 10 days, it hurt us, it made our start very slow, and yeah, we got punished. So here's my first goal kick of the day. It was a weird one. Um, I've never heard of the rule that um, once you place the ball down in your six yard area, you can't move it again. I don't know if that's a thing anywhere other than America. Um, I've never had that in my life before, so here, just remember that here, I put the ball down, looking to go short, we like to play, um, so nothing was on. I squeezed up the defence, tried to get them on one side, because uh, when, because our philosophy is when we get everyone to one side, um, we've got more bodies to win the uh, second ball. The kick wasn't as big as 
I'd like it to be. It was quite short actually, it's my first kick of the game. Um, yeah, it wasn't the greatest. Here another pass, pass it off to Henry um, and we can play our way out. Yeah, we beat the press and we play our way out. Here, ball comes through, big shout, keeper. Um, I could either play my centre back here. I fake to throw here, and once I, uh, well, I didn't fake, I was going to roll it to him, but I saw the man coming across to anticipate it, so I stopped the roll, and I'm going to play the man in the middle. who can turn out, and we can get going. Corner, uh, the corner goes short. Um, weren't switched on to that. Um, it's a theme. There was always the man short. Um, we were slow getting out to him, as you see. There was no urgency, slow to get out. Takes a shot and it was handballed by our player here. Um, it hit his arm when he was trying to block it and it was a free kick in a very dangerous area. So my thought for this free kick was it was quite close, but um, I, uh, it was quite close, so I wanted four in the wall. Uh, sometimes I'd go five, but there weren't enough men in here to mark just in case, so I went four. Um, wall was set up good, I was very happy with it, uh, the positioning of the wall was great. So the only thing he needed to do now was beat me, he curls it over, well, there was so much pace on the ball that by the time I got there, uh, there was nothing I can do, if we bring it back, uh, there was so much pace on the ball that I had to dive backwards to have any sort of chance to get to it. Um, here, it was already past me by the time I got across. Very good free kick from him. The only one criticism I have is in the wall. The wall was well placed, but only the man here jumped. The two players here, uh, there was no jump from them and it just went over their heads. So maybe if they jumped, it could have got stopped. I'm not gonna say that, but I'm just gonna leave the thought out there. Only the man here jumps. He is stationary and it goes over his head. So yeah, that's unlucky. Went 2-0 down very early on. And we had a lot of work to do for ourselves. Here, ball comes back to me. I'm telling my defender split. So he should go wide here. He should go wide there, giving me options. I take uh, my centre back out here and I play him the ball and we're able to play out of the press. By switching the ball. That was a good switch by him. Uh, it really opens us out to get our wing backs involved. Uh, again, ball comes back to me. Uh, there was a terrible pass. And uh, what you're going to see here, um, the, the uh, way the turf the way the turf was, the ball took really unpredictable rolls. Like you see here, I should have no chance of getting the ball here. The striker's running onto it. He's got a good run and I'm all the way back here after that terrible pass. Um, but the ball somehow manages to get to me and I'm composed, chop my way back because you can see here, I had a look up and there's nobody, there's nobody I could pass to. The only thing I can do is really just a big clearance, which could be fine in that situation, but with 2-0 down, I really wanted to get a foothold in this game. So um, I wanted to get us playing, so I cut it back and uh, laid it off to my centre-back. <laughs> you can see the reactions of the boys on the bench. They all thought I was going to get tackled. They had no faith in my feet, but yeah, gave it a little chop and um, just laid the ball off for Henry, who's now got an option of Mike, who pulled out um, which he can play and Mike actually gets fouled so that's good from us but if you if we go back and have a look at this pass it was it wasn't a great pass it was in all honesty it was a hospital ball I dropped off to give him an option dropped off to give him an option all he needed was a firm pass to me but yeah as you can see in some uh, other clips later down the line the roll of the turf was so unpredictable and from playing out here, from me cutting it back, we were able to have a very good chance. Um, Eric was put through one-on-one -on -one and I think he won't mind me saying his touch should be a lot better there. That was <laughs> touch of a trampoline. Uh, again, ball goes through, um, our players forcing him wide. I'm ready to make the save. I'm 
at a good angle. I'm not going to get beat in my near post. I don't think I'm going to get beat in my far post. Uh, but the defender does well to show him wide here, though, um, if we go back a tiny bit. Um, so once he's got forced wide, his body shape looks like he's going to turn back and look for another option. Um, so I'm slightly here, you can see he looks like he's going to turn back and look for another option. So I'm a bit slow getting back into position, so I'll get caught slightly out of position, which is my fault. Um, I shouldn't take chances and assume I should be, see I'm here, I'm slow to get back. Um, I should be in a very neutral position, um, middle of my goal, um, expecting a cross because that is exactly what happened. Cross came in and because I was out of position, I had to feet, feet, quick feet um, to try and get back and clawed this one out of my net. Um, it was a good reaction to the uh, scenario, but it sh I should have prevented it. It should have been a very easy, um, it should be a routine catch if I was in the right position, if I'm being honest. If I'm in the middle of my goal, a neutral position, if I'm here, if my position is here, um, it would be a very routine catch, but I do well to claw it back out. And um, yeah, I'll show you, I'll let it run. Deflection, and I end up scoring from that. Um, the defender, he has to get his body on the line. There's nothing, it's just unlucky. There was nothing more he could have done. The ricochet could have gone anywhere, but it happened to go in our net. Um, it's annoying because I think I could have saved it. Oh, I know I would have saved it, it would have been a good save, but the defender has to put his body there. Uh, it goes through his legs and yeah, yeah ends up in the back of the net, it's unlucky. But if we watch this again, I think it's in an area where I had a very good dive, a very powerful dive to my right hand side. And I think if um, it happened to miss our defender, I would have saved it and kept it 2-0. But that stuff happens, it's unlucky. And now we're 3-0 down in a matter of minutes. Next play, ball gets passed to me. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking, and I just go out wide. There's a man there for me. And again, just keep it moving, keep it circulating, um, looking for a new point of attack. If there's nothing on, we just keep swinging it from side to side, looking for something and hoping something opens up. Here, ball coming through. Uh, our defender does well to hold him up. Um, that, this is where our midfielders should be busting a gut, really. Um, a theme in this game was our midfield. We kept getting overrun, even though we had two players um, sitting and two tens, so we have four players in the middle. Uh, we kept getting overrun, I don't know if that was because they are more match fit than us, they played eight games going into this compared to our first game, but um, whatever it is, we kept getting overrun in the midfield, so you see they have runners, and the runner comes back and manages to get a shot on target. Um, I make the save, but looking back at this, I think, um, here I'm in a good position to make the save because I'm on the angle, I have to come out a little bit to narrow it. Um, I'm in a good position, but once this ball gets cut back here, I think my first thought instead of, uh, my first thought should be to drop and create depth. Because if I drop that and create depth, instead of a, a save with my feet that I just make, it would have been just an easy scoop and pick up because I would have had more time to react. So I think so even though I did make the save, I think I could have maybe, um, I think I maybe could have dropped off to create more depth, and that would have been useful. So here's another goal kick. This is my second one. It goes a bit further, but this still isn't the range that I want to be hitting. Um, you can see as the game goes on, my goal kicks get a lot better. Um, it lands here. I ideally want to be hitting this area right here. Um, it just means the ball doesn't come back to us straight away. Um, and if you see from this play, we don't win the second ball. And if that's exactly what happens, the ball comes straight back to us. We get carved open, our defender gets done for pace. And it's that easy. Another one-on-one, -on -one, he goes through and he slots it in. Um, I don't know if there's any more I could really do about this one. You could make an argument that maybe... Um, once he takes his touch here, I could close down the space and hopefully get a block on it um, instead of trying to um, react to a shot that comes. But I don't, I hold, maybe I could have taken a couple steps, but I don't, and he slots it past me. So yeah, another goal, we are 4-0 down. 
and yeah, it was it was not a very good start. But after this, it you kind of switch on a bit more and. So here, our defender fakes to go short. Um, I see that he's got a man on his back. And also, if I do play him here, what has he really got on? He can't play out wide here. He can't play out wide here because we've already squeezed over. Um, there isn't enough space or options to play. So I don't give it to him. I um, walk back and, and get ready to save my goal kick. Hopefully this one will be a better goal kick into a better area. Ball comes over it's a lot longer it's a better goal kick it's into the area i really wanted to go to here and we were able to win the second ball again sweeping up didn't want to take any chances um just sacked it off it was a good clearance into a good area again goal kick this one's a lot bigger into see this is if i pull this back these are the areas that i want to be hitting I'm just getting my range now, I'm getting more confident with them. Um, and these are the areas that I want to be hitting. If a goal kick goes here, it's not very useful to the team. Um, it makes it so much easier for them to potentially come back at us. This is the area that I want to be hitting with my goal kicks. And that was a good kick. We didn't win the first, but we were able to win the second ball. Again, free kick. Our centre back comes short again. I like the intent, I really do. But when we're set up like this, it's so hard for me to justify playing him because if I play him here, we there's nothing on really. The only thing that's going to happen is he goes back to me and maybe our uh, centre back here pulls out and we can play through there. But you never know with their um, with their press being this high, you don't really want to take the chance. So I send it over and this is justified because it's a big kick again. When you hit these key areas, it's good. It runs through. It causes problems for them. And our striker gets fouled and we get a free kick in a good area. In good areas is key for goal kicks as it makes everything easier. Free kick doesn't come to anything. They get it clear and I'm here. My starting position is high. I'm able to sweep it up. Um, yeah, high starting position. Able to sweep it up and I just play Taylor in the middle. His touch wasn't the best. Puts himself under pressure, but we're able to play our way out. Piece of skill from the player as well to get out of the corner. And let me pull this back a little bit. Um, as we see here, um, if you compare this cross to the one before where I had to claw it out, I'm in a lot better position. As by the time this cross comes in, um, here I'm in a very neutral position. Uh, which means I can cover my front post if I have to and also my back and if it comes in the middle it's an easy take if it comes to the front post it's an easier take not an easier take but it's an easy take um, and if it goes to the back post it's also an easy take so it was a very neutral position and it covers and it covers all of the goal um, so the cross is swung in it's deep comes to the back post uh, the guy wins the header and it's a good save down to my near post Corner again, the short need to be switched on to that. Um, it's a big threat in this game. If you go short, um, get the defender squeezed out to him, takes a shot, and I'm able to tip it over the bar. It's a good save. Um, one of the better ones that I made in the game. We'll just pull that back and watch it again. But as we've seen before, we need to be switched on for this short corner. Goes out, big tip over the bar. Another goal kick, send it long. Again, I'm hitting the good areas into the middle this time. Um, we don't win the second ball and they're able to come away with it. Um, the player gets slipped in out wide. Thankfully, this one rolls through into my gloves and I'm able to, I'm looking up. Um, I didn't realize that it was 20 seconds to go. If, if I did realize that I'm new to having this whole counting down clock thing, um, I would have played, there was a man here that he didn't see, it would have been a, uh, I'd have tried to hit a sidewinder to him, um, either play him in over the top or play to his feet um, so we can try and make something happen in these last 20 seconds. Um, instead, um, I brought Juan in and I tried to get us going, see if that was the man there. I didn't realise it was 20 seconds to go or I would have. Um, that was actually the last action of the first half, so we're about to start the second half. It was a very disappointing first half, but as you can see from the second half, I didn't actually have that much to do. Um, I would say I had one save to make in the second half, which was a, 
which is crazy if you compare it to four goals in the opening 20 minutes. Um, so I'm going to play this now and we're going to see what happens in the second half. So not even 20 seconds in, uh, they're breaking. Our defender misses the ball here, so um, he's put through one-on-one. -on -one. Again, um, so from my angle, it looked like our centre-back was going to get it first. Um, the role of the pitch was so weird that uh, he ended up not getting there. So for me, I was asking our centre-back to play it to my feet. I wanted it. Um, I, that's what my hands are saying. My mouth is saying that as well. You can't hear it. Um, but the ball doesn't go to him. It goes to the striker. So I had to switch on. Um, and because I thought that the ball was going to come to me, I thought he was going to play it back. I wasn't, in, I wasn't set. Uh, which is a big problem. Um, so by the time the guy strikes the ball, I wasn't in my set position. I've still got my hand down asking for the ball. Luckily, I'm able to adjust. And by the time I adjust and I'm set here, um, so just after he shot, I managed to get in my set position and I make a save down to my left uh, that goes out for a corner. But yeah, ideally, I want to be set there. Um, the roll was so weird, but... Yeah, I should be set um, and in my set position. Uh, goal kick again. Um, another theme, we don't win the first or second ball and that was our problem because if we don't win on the first or second balls, the ball keeps coming back to us and we're under pressure again. So we need to start winning the first and second balls. Cross comes in. This was far too easy. I, this was the first time it happened. Um, no one got out to him. Literally, he was. So um, we get told in their defensive third, sit back, get into our shape. If they play the ball around the back four, it doesn't matter. Um, but as soon as the ball crosses a certain point, our pressure should be high. And the fact that we're in our final third and there's no attempt to block the cross or get out to him really annoyed me. So this is the first time it happened. So easy for him to put a cross in. Luckily, I gather the cross, it goes into my hands. There's no one around me, so I can cheat a little bit. I don't have to take it at the highest point. I can just let it come to me, and I roll my man out wide to get it going. But here, see, I'm asking questions of the, uh, of the man, saying, why didn't you not get out to him? This is the first time it happened, so I wasn't too angry, but it does happen again, and he does get a ball again. So, ball comes through again. Um, I'm off my line quickly, and I'm sweeping this one up. Big shout, and it's going into my hands. And I'm trying to play quickly, get us going. Um, we really want a goal in this game, so I'm just trying to get us, get us going. Ideally, I'd like him to drive here, but he puts us under pressure by coming back to our centre back. Uh, there's a man coming back on side which you could tackle him. So ideally, I'd like him to drive with the ball here, but we do well to beat the press. Again, another one off my line quickly, sweeping up. Roll to my centre back to try and get us going. Um, he cuts in, has a shot into my hands. Pretty easy, didn't have to think about that too much. Quick roll to get us going. It's a poor shot from him, if I'm being honest, so it was easy to gather. Um, here, again, sweeping up. Quick roll, that was literally what was happening in the second half. I didn't have anything to do other than that, just sweeping, getting the ball and giving it to our players. Here, little ricochet, it's a deflection. Well, thankfully, it goes straight into my hands and I'm able to distribute and get it out. Uh, quick, quick free kick, just trying to get us going uh, and trying to play quickly. Goal kick again, um, into a good area. Uh, hopefully, we can win the second ball. Again, we don't win the second ball, and you see what happens, we're under pressure. So when we don't win the first and second ball, it really, really puts us under pressure. But when things like that are happening, um, your starting position is so important because um, they're, every time they were looking to play through us, so if I had a high starting position, I, had a more, I was more likely to be able to sweep and collect the balls that are going, that are going through. And again, a little roll to get us going. Ball comes back to me, I take a touch, and I'm trying, so my thought here was there was a man out wide here, um, it left a big gap for me, so I was trying to play into his path so he can run onto it. Um, the ball, it does and it doesn't make it to him, so 
So I had a few options here. I could have played the ball to Pablo and he turned out and he played, or I could have hit the ball, I think maybe a little bit firmer, or I could have hit it in the air to Mark's feet. Instead, I play it through the gap that he's given me. It's not a bad pass, he could get onto it, which he sort of does. Um, but yeah, I think I'd go a bit firmer in the air to him and it would have been a better idea. Again, quick goal kick and we're able to beat the press. Uh, corner for them. This is a very controversial moment. So the corner gets swung in and the keeper misses it. I don't know if that's in or not. I can't tell from that angle, but it's cleared off the line. I'll bring it back. It's cleared off the line, so maybe we should have had a goal. Who knows? Um, but the ball comes back to me. It's cleared. I'm sweeping up. I'm sweeping up. I'm yelling keepers. This is for me. I want to get us going quickly because we got two minutes. And my options are either to play uh, our centre back here or look up. Um, if I play him here, it's a bit of a pointless ball. So my thought is to go up, uh, spray a pass out to our player here who goes to his feet, it's right on his foot, but it was a hard ball to control and it goes out. Um, maybe I could have played on the floor into his feet or tried to maybe look at a different option and maybe I could have played out wide here. I don't know, it would have been a longer ball, but I think I could have made it. So yeah, if we look at this again in normal time, it comes out to me. Give it to him, but it's unable to control and it goes out. And here, that is the end of the game. That is all, uh, that is all she wrote. You can see that it's a tale of two halves. Um, literally, all I had to do in the second half was make one save, collect the ball a few times and roll it out. Um, opposed to the first 20 minutes when four goals went past me. So there are a few positives to take from that personally. For the team, it just looked like we hadn't played in a while, which we hadn't. We weren't winning second balls. Uh, we couldn't really get a foothold in the game until later on and by the time we did get a foothold in the game it was too late. There are a lot of um, positives to take from that and also a lot of things I can really implement to my game. The key thing that I'm taking from this is um, just being switched on, like my positioning from that cross. Maybe if I took it and instead of tipping it away it would have stopped a goal going in. So just little things like that, analysing a game, looking back can really make big difference. So this is the first time I've done this sort of video on my channel before. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you liked it, if you didn't, uh, just let me know. Drop a like on this video. It means more than you can ever know. It helps the channel out. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Peace.